Hi, you guys. Welcome to The Colors of Beauty by L. I'm Isabel. Welcome back to another Vlogmas. I don't know what Vlogmas this is, but I'm just going to include it in my Vlogmas. I'm going to just show you how to make, uh, how I make my apples. Um, I call it uh, like an apple topping or you can mash it up to make applesauce or you can make an apple pie with there whatever you want to do but I'm going to show you how to make it so um yeah so what you're going to need today is you're going to need some apples I like the sweetest apples that I could find um I really like the sh the um these Fuji apples okay so this is these are F Fuji apples or Fiji apples sorry I gotta close the door because um, Mr. Man's outside doing something in the yard. And um, so I got about, um, depending on how big your apples are, I like, and depending how many you want to make, um, but I'm making a lot because I got a big family. So uh, I've got like um, 12 apples. And they're about, um, they're kind of big to medium size, as you can tell with my hand. Okay. Um, so they're about, 10 uh, medium size and then um, we're gonna get your crock pot to got mine right here and then um, I'll show you what I'm gonna do next okay so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and peel your apples uh, I already peeled this one and then um, you need to cut them up pretty much like slices so this is how I do mine kind of cut this here Let's put this down for a second Okay, so I cut them like that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and slice them. And uh, depending on, say I usually like them sliced about like that, uh, like this one. You know, it, uh, you can slice them thinner if you want to, but I like them about like this because uh, I usually like to put them on top of uh, ice cream, and that's what I'm gonna be doing. Or you can use them for, um, you know, for apple pie, but depending on how chunky you want your apples, your apple pie. So then when you're done cutting these, you're gonna go ahead and put them in your crock pot. So I'm gonna finish doing all this and then I'll come back. Okay, so when you're done um, cutting up all your apples, you're gonna put them in the crock pot just like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and get about a uh, cup and a fourth probably a, about a cup and a fourth of sugar in here so uh, let's go ahead and do that and we don't want to put any liquid in here because it's going to make um, its own liquid so it's gonna you know so we're just gonna put a, the sugar in here Okay, that's one cup, and then we're gonna put in a fourth, about a fourth of a of a cup, about a fourth. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some cinnamon in there. Um, I like a lot of cinnamon. Um, just depends on how much cinnamon you guys like. So we're gonna put some ground cinnamon. And then we're gonna stir it okay okay we just stirred it and that's what it looks like we're not like I said we're not putting any liquid in there because it's going to make its own liquid and it's gonna be really nice and your house is gonna smell amazing so I'm just gonna turn this on we're gonna turn it on low for about I'm doing it on low for about five hours because I want this to get nice, cook nice and slow. You also can put raisins in here if you want to, um, nuts if you want to. I, you know, I usually just like it like this because um, my family, they're just, you know, picky, so they just kind of want it plain. But you can do it that way. Um, and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like when it's all finished. Okay. Okay, you guys. Okay, you guys. For the apples, now after it's been on for about a half hour, um, change it to high. 
on here and then just let it cook so that way um, it can start to you know the the heating went on for just a little bit so the apples can start to get warmer and then we're going to go hotter so just change it to high okay okay let's check our uh, our apples don't forget to stir them once in a while because you got to stir them so that all the juices can get everywhere look how juicy these are and this is all like from the sugar and the natural juices from the apples so you know you can have them as firm as you want just you know taste them or whatever I like them pretty uh, you know pretty soft um, so like apple pie soft or something like that so yeah so then when you're done you can just put it on top of um, either some granola and um, and some ice cream on top of that it tastes really good like a crunchy granola with uh, some apples and some um, ice cream tastes so good or just on top of ice cream or make an apple pie or um, you can mash them up to make uh, some um, applesauce so yeah so this is how I make my apples um, for dessert so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, leave me comments down below if you have any questions uh, please subscribe and share and I will see you in the next video bye <laughs> subscribe